In this video, we're going to show you new ways to cut, scratch, and sample using the two new jog wheel features. The first is the jog drum, which turns your jog wheel into an oversized hot cue sample pad, and the sample launch, which is a way of accessing four built-in samples from the jog wheel. First up, we have the jog drum. This acts as a giant sample pad, which can be used to drum and instantly trigger your last cue point. It's great for adding another rhythmic element to your mix. To start, you must set your cue point by searching to a desirable point in the track using the jog wheel and hitting Q. At this point, you want to enable jog drum by clicking this button here. As you can hear, the cue point is triggered each time I touch the platter. To disengage, simply hit the jog drum button again. When jog mode is active, you can still access all of the normal controls of your deck. This means your samples can also be filtered and affected just like a track that is in normal playback. The sample launch section contains four preloaded samples. To load them up, hold down the sample launch button here. Then with the rotary encoder, select from scratch, siren, horn, and noise samples. Sample launch mode is just like loading a track, except these are built into the unit. You can cut the samples, scratch them, affect them, and even put them into jog drum mode. If you want to expand your sample library, you can always create your own playlist in Rekordbox and keep them on your USB device. In the next video, we'll be showing you everything you need to know about the auto beat loop feature. If you have any questions about what we've covered, you can discuss them online with other Pioneer users and Pioneer experts at forums.pioneerdj.com.